started off going to one of Tori and Tim's classes, we were asked to go by a, a fr mutual friend, um, and we were like, you know, we're really not ready to buy a house, this isn't our time, um, but we went anyway, and that is what led to us seeing that this can be realized, this is something we actually can do. Um, it led to um, meeting with, you know, sitting down with Tim, who really walked us through the process and didn't, you know, didn't mince words, was very, you know, respected our wishes as well as gave us what was within our reach and, you know, then set us free into the arms of Tori. Yeah, I mean, it went, um, he showed us options that I didn't even know that we had. Um, which is huge because it can be discouraging. Right. You know, you're and trying it's to. It's overwhelming when you're seeing stuff like rock and mortgage. And I'm not allowed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it looks. You, 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 right. you see that stuff, but then you, we had friends that it was. You know, you hear horror stories right. of, oh, they came back to me at closing and said I need another 10 grand because someone made a mistake. And you're just thinking of all these things and you're like, how am I going to come up with 20% for a house? And it just. You just you get defeated right and before you even step step forward yeah. and and I think that was the really the turning point for us was you know not not being afraid to just ask the question and that's what I would advise everyone to do is ask the question because you might think it sounds dumb nobody made me feel dumb no one made me feel uneducated the question we asked was the most important usually the question we asked was an important one you needed to ask in the first yeah. place so from the first meeting, uh, Chesapeake Bounty, the next week we met with Tim yeah. to go over our pre-approval. Um, we did everything that night. Tori called us on our way back from Tim's meeting and said she'd already talked to Tim and we were looking at houses in two days. Yeah. So the longest part of the process for us was finding the perfect home um, and we did. Yeah. And once we found that, that it went so quick and all the stories we heard of everyone going through the process of your, your approval from pre-approval to approval to the underwriting and they're going to rip you apart and it was such a smooth process. It was almost like we were like, is this, is this too good to be true? Like, we can, actually called Tim and said like, it's, well, is this okay? Like yeah. this is going this, really this well. so smooth. Um, like, it, it really, but it really was. And you know, I you know, I, I also want to stress that there really was it was a friendly family feeling. I mean we're we are I absolutely consider Tori a friend now. I mean we actually we still talk, like we are friends and you know, same with him and everybody really there's no I don't wanna say there's no pressure, there was no you know, you felt obligated. It was a, you know, no, we understand. And if you're fearful, let's, you know, let's talk it through. Let's see what options are out there for you. And that's important yeah. when you're taking a big step like this. Yeah, and then, and even with the title company, um, I got calls from Allison at Velocity, um, just asking questions. It was just a very friendly. Yes. Everybody was local, um, including our own, where we kept our insurance anyway. So when I called them to get paperwork, she's like, yeah, I know Tim, don't worry about it. And like, we just, we didn't really have to do anything. No, no. I mean, it was it was really it was it was great. It yeah. was it was a, a process that I would recommend anybody who's you know if you're afraid if you feel you know like it's not you know no I don't want to be stressed out like that. It really wasn't for yeah. us. It didn't feel as stressful. I mean, family life felt more stressful yeah. than I think this did, yeah. which I mean I think says a lot. Yeah. So and the they had the process so fine-tuned that we were done end of July with everything uh, we were slated to move in on August 19th but we pushed everything up to the beginning of August because the seller was ready to go and we were ready to move so the process got us in the house two to three weeks quicker yeah so no it was it was great I mean from top to bottom it was it was fun friendly yeah um, and everybody answered questions and we always felt like we were you, being needy, yeah, and I everyone would laugh. I guess everyone asked that. Like, I feel yeah. like I'm being needy, but everyone we, would just laugh. Like, no, you're email, fine. Like, it, we'd like be sitting, you know, together on the couch and be like, <gasps> and we'd like email or, te or text. Like, I mean, who wants to like, get a text from like a customer at middle of night? And but within usually within a half an hour, somebody was texting us with an answer back, so we didn't have to wait till morning, which I think is exemplary, yeah. really, because. You know, they, everyone, we would have were more than happy to wait till 9 a.m. the next day or, or even longer, but we got an answer that night, so we knew that next morning what we needed to do. Yeah. Definitely.